Good morning, everyone. This is January the 31st, 2023. The current temperature is minus one. It is 10, 10 a.m. And it was snowing quite a bit. Right now it's uh, just a light flurry, but we're supposed to be getting more today. We'll see how that goes as the day goes. Anyway, I'm walking on Young Street, heading west. Now I have one little problem. I couldn't turn my phone on with my glove on. So now I've got to figure out how to hold my phone, hold my umbrella, and put my glove on while I'm doing all that. So bear with me if, if the umbrella falls down in front of the screen. I'll try not to. I'm gonna to try to get my glove on without too much going on here, okay? I'm gonna stop walking and get my glove on. And there we go. Simple as that. It all worked well. All right. You can see we got a little bit of snow this morning. So far, this was, snow wasn't here yesterday. So it's just all this morning. It's a little bit falling. I had to keep my umbrella over everything so my lens wouldn't get snow on it and wouldn't get anything, wouldn't get, get wet on me. So, other than that, things are good. Things are always good. So let's get walking and see where we're going to go today. I'm going to take a little different direction of what I usually take when I'm over in this area. So I changed today. I see somebody I know here. Hi. How's it going? Uh, yeah, that, that door is a little bit stiff. Take it easy. I'm parked over two Martins. How many you got today? You won't get any spare time. Yeah, I'll be around here anyway. Let me know. Okay. See you later. That's my wife uh, driving the courier van. Not, not her. Truck. She, hers is in the shop. So she got a truck that she's not used to today. And the uh, door is a little stiff in the back. And she's not too crazy about it, but it's better than staying home doing nothing. Well, I didn't even expect I would run into her here today, but there she is. This is her territory, the North End. And yes, I am in the north end of Halifax. We're heading up towards Mumford. That's where we're going to go today. For now, heading up towards Mumford. One thing I like about these cloudy days, I can see my screen better. On the sunny days, it's hard to see it, and I can tell how many minutes I've been videoing. 
and I can see if my video stops for some reason. But sometimes that will happen. It will stop, and if the sun shines on it, you might not be able to tell right away. So anyway, that's a good, that's a plus. Snow is a plus too. We haven't had any snow much this year yet. So it's always nice to see a little snow. I don't mind it. Here we are, the end of January. We got February and, and part of March. And, and winter will be over. We got what, six weeks left maybe? The max, about six weeks of, uh, of winter. And this is not winter as we know it. This is, this is like a, a mild, very mild form of our winter. I'm changing, what? Oh, I got that emergency alert on my screen again now. I hope that goes out. Now I gotta try to. Bell gotta... has confirmed that 911 service has been restored in Nova Scotia. Okay, I got it out. Sorry about the interruption, but that's the emergency. We had something happen to our 911 today. 911 call went down. Nobody could use it if, if emergency happened. And I think that was just letting us know that it was up and running again now. So bear with me, I had to take my glove off to fix that, take that off my screen. But there we go, I think we're good now again, okay. All right, that's it. Yes, we're gonna go down Mumford today. Now I could go out that way and down or I could take a city street. I might just take a city street instead of the highway. Could do that. That's probably what I will do. Hey, I got a crosswalk here. I might as well make use of it. Cross here, they'll come back up and then take uh, Young Street on down instead of uh, this way. This is the way that you normally drive. But I'm going to take Young Street instead. There's still snowing, can you see it? Yeah, not, not a lot, but snowing. Okay, we're going down Young Street again. Well, it's not a bad day out here. Like, not even bad for an umbrella like it was the last time I was out. I broke one, one support of my umbrella last time. Look, right, right there, that one. The piece broke out right up there because of that high wind. And I had to edit that video. Or I would just look ridiculous when my umbrella blew out of my hand and went flying down the sidewalk. And uh, my phone flipped down and down and the mic unplugged like the wind was so bad. I, I got into a mess really fast. So that's why I had to edit that. And then I decided that's it. I'm not, I, I'm not even gonna try anymore today. I'm going home. So I went and had a coffee and 
got the bus and went home. Today, we don't have a whole lot of wind. Much better. Much, much better today. Thankful we don't get too many days like that here. That was like a, almost like a hurricane. The winds were sometimes 100 kilometers an hour that, that day. So hopefully we don't see more of that for a while. I think I can get a little more wear out of this umbrella yet. I like it because it's big. It covers up my, my equipment and keeps things fairly dry under here. So I kind of like it because it's big, but I'm going to have to get a new one soon to replace this one. I had it quite a while. I think I've been using this for about two years at least. Two, two and a half years maybe. Yeah. It's time for a new one, and you got to be strong. I know what to look for now in an umbrella. You just you know, it doesn't matter how much you pay for it. It you got you got to pay a pretty good price to get a good one. But you can also pay quite a bit for one and not it not be that good. So you got to got to look for things that will make your umbrella stay strong in the wind. Oh, the snow's picking up again, look. Snowing more now than it was. So I'm heading uh, westward on Young Street. This is the residential portion of Young Street. It's not a really cold day today. It says minus one, but when you're walking, you kind of generate heat. So I don't really feel cold out here. And I am now on the corner of Oxford and Young. I will continue right on down Young Street. This is not a cross track, so I had, the cars don't have to stop for me here. And we don't have a sidewalk on this side right here. So we're going to go across the street. Family barbershop, right there. All new apartments right there. Apartments or condos, maybe both. I'd say they're all new, anyways. Kind of made this street look nice, having that nice modern building all the way along there. Beginning leasing, the other must be apartments. Leasing, B, Young. Leasing inquiries. Full and split rock properties. Leasing. There's your phone number. Anybody wants to inquire about these on Young Street. Corner of Young and Oxford. Oxford just up there. And beautiful, beautiful. Nice location, right close to the Halifax Shopping Center and close to a lot of stuff. 
plazas right around here handy and, and, and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, right in the center of, uh, in the heart of the North End. Lots of businesses there. New stuff going up over there too. Right in behind him. I just gotta check something just just quickly here and see if I make sure I zipped up my pocket that's got my car key in it. No, I didn't, it's down. So, there. Don't wanna take a chance on losing my key. All right, so there we go. We're back in business. And I did make a mistake. I forgot to zip my pocket up. I mean, I probably wouldn't have fell out, but why risk it, right? There we go. Okay. Okay, we're back. For some reason, my phone turned off. And I don't know what caused that. Sometimes these things happen. But because it's a nice cloudy day, kind of dark, I can see my screen really good. And when that went out, I caught it. And otherwise, I would have been walking along and uh, not recording. It, it, the camera part of it went right off. Okay, we're back. Whatever caused that, I don't know. I'll keep right on down over the hill. We're gonna go by the Mumford bus terminal and maybe on down to the mall area. I haven't done that for a long time, been up, up to here, this far up. Well, all is well again. This is a little glitch, something happens, I don't know, who knows. Could be a Bluetooth connection, could be a, um, I don't know if Wi-Fi is any of those or not. Something anyway, disconnected. I'm on a bit of a downhill incline right here now. I think this is Connaught Street up here. Uh, that's the end of Young Street. So we'll take a... We'll take a right and, and go over and then down. Yeah, it's snowing pretty good there right now. That's good. Haven't been out for a snow walking video in a long time. Well, I have one, one there at Christmas time, I guess. We got that one snowstorm at Christmas. Or shortly, shortly after, shortly after Christmas. We got that one snowstorm. And that's pretty much been it. So nice to see. I wouldn't call this a snowstorm. I just call it it's snowing. Wouldn't really call it a snowstorm, but you can see at the rate it's fall. I guess not like a whole lot, but it was the best I could come up with for a snow walking video. That's all we have. Canada Avenue which is the main street across the 
All right, we are going to go this way. And we'll take Mayor's Road. And then we'll walk down to uh, Mumford. Pretty app, don't know where the Mumford terminal is. I'll show you that. It's fairly close to the Halifax Shopping Center. I don't see a, a button to push for a hand signal, but I guess when that one stops, I'll get a hand, I'll get a walk time over here. No walk sign? Well, I'm just gonna go because I was expecting a walk sign, but I didn't have a button. So, if I stand there, I'm just going to, oh, there it is. It just came on late. All right, that's good. It came on, but a little bit late. I guess that's what I was supposed to do, wait. Wait for it to come on. I think the sign's a little outdated on that church. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day service. Hmm. That's really out of date. Tomorrow's the 1st of February. I'll take a different route back when I head back to where I began. Then after I finish this video, I'll go to Tim Hortons, have a coffee recharge my phone and uh, we'll see what happens after that okay this is the way to the Halifax shopping center sign right there you go down this way first time I want to show you the bus train now
a lot of things to know about getting around here, what bus to take to get you where you need to go. And sometimes you have to transfer to another bus and they take you to a bus station and you can transfer there or you can just transfer on the street. And one thing I really like about our bus system in Halifax, when you get a transfer, you can use it to come back the same way you went. Like you, you can turn around and come home on it. You got like a couple of hours, maybe a little more than sometimes more than two hours. And you can just use that transfer to come back. Up in Toronto, you have to be going the right direction. You have to be going farther away in order to use it. Even if you get, even if I, let's say I was going west. Oh, I don't know. Say I'm going west on Queen Street or something. Okay. And I get off and I go south. Now I can't turn around and take another street and come east. Because they don't allow, they only allow to keep going the, the direction they're going in. And I can't turn around after I went south and come north again. I can't, I gotta stay, keep going in the direction I'm in. Whereas in Halifax, you can, you can go any direction. You can go shopping, come back out and use your transfer to come home. As long as you're not too long in there. You got like at least two hours. And depending on the time of day, sometimes I've had like three hours on my transfer. So there's one advantage here over Toronto. You get a better deal with the buses. That's an under, underground parking garage. There's just several entrances for that here. It's underneath the mall, Halifax Shopping Center. Now you can see Mumford Road this way, Bayers Road up that way. Okay. I'm going to cross the street because the bus station, I think, no way, well, it doesn't matter. Take this way. It probably works just as well. Okay. Okay. You can see the snow is... I think there's more coming down now than there was. Mm. Whoops. Sorry about that. Yeah. My wife got a busy day today, but she that she may meet me at Tim Hortons. But it'll be a while yet because she had 40, 40 drops on, something like that. She has some of them done, but oh, I might have to cross the street. I got no sidewalk over here now. now I gotta turn around and cross the street again. All right, cross the street. No sidewalk over there, that's not safe. Can't walk without a sidewalk, okay. All right, there we are, back on the sidewalk. And one other thing I forgot to mention about the buses. It's not a great system, but it's better than and then is every Tuesday if you're a senior, you can get a you ride free all day on the bus. Don't need to get transfers, you can just jump off and jump on. Just tell them when you get on you're a senior and 
And that's it. There's no card to show, no proof. They just take your word for it if you're a senior. If you look like you might be, well, they don't ask questions. You just tell them you're a senior. Now, if you're in your 20s, you might not get away with that, but, uh, you know, for me, it works, because I am, I am a senior, so, <laughs> we can't argue with that. Now we got a sidewalk over here. There's quite a bit of underground parking in this mall. Days like this would be a good day to underground park. You don't have to sweep your car off when you come out. Well, that's a nice walk up here today. I haven't done this for a while. Look at the stop sign. They got red lights that light up there just to catch your attention. In case you might not see that stop sign. And I believe this is Mumford Street right here. One going across here. It's been a while, I don't see the sign, but I'm pretty sure that's Mumford. We will see when we get down here. I think I'm right. And there's the Metro Transit terminal. So we'll walk right down through here and have a good look at it. And it is right here at the, kind of between the shopping, the Halifax Shopping Center and the Walmart. I can walk in the middle, yes. And if there's nothing coming, I can go the rest of the way. Nothing coming, let's go. Let's go across. I've been known to jaywalk a couple of times. So, stick with what you know, right? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta go around and have a look at the Metro Transit. Let's turn it around here. It's not a big, it's not a big deal. There's several buses coming in here. And there is a waiting spot inside if you need to get out of the elements. I don't know if there's washers in there or not. I can't really say. I don't think so. But anyways, we'll take a walk down through here and see what buses are here. out of service at the moment. Which you will be going in service shortly. And bus three is down here. And bus 9A is down here. We'll take the sidewalk so they don't want to get in the way of the people trying to get on the bus. This one going up to Lacewood Terminal.
And they got another little plaza right over here. Well, this is the Mumford Terminal. Right there. It's not my deal. Not my deal. Not a big deal, but it's the Mumford Terminal. Where you can make connections to other destinations. Let's see if I can put my umbrella in the other hand. I put the phone in, in my right hand for a while. Change them over, there we go. The phone's easy to carry. The umbrella, when you carry it in one hand for a while, it can be a little bit tiring. Yeah. And Walmart is right over there. Well as Mark's warehouse and, and uh, Bellarama and Tim Hortons. I might just go into Tim Hortons and have a have a coffee before I decide where I'm going from here. And this will be the end of this video. And then we'll do another video from here in another direction. Okay? Here. And go to Dollar. I mean, go to Tim Hortons. Take a little break. All right, here we are, Tim Hortons. I'm gonna go in here. Let's see if I can manage the door at the same time. I don't know if I can or not. We'll see. I'm back at Young and Roby. I didn't get to sign off that video uh, properly because I was uh, standing in the doorway, so I just turned it off. There was people trying to get by me. So I thought I'll just wait and get back, get back to, to the corner here and I'll sign off here, okay? So, you can see it's uh, snowing pretty good right now. Um, I don't know how much it's gonna snow today, but Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, push that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I'd love if you became a subscriber. That would be good. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll get all my videos when I make them. I'm not saying they're all great, but, but, but they're entertaining anyways, right? So, with that, you have a great day. Take care. Be safe. And I'll see you all in the next video, okay? Bye for now.